Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for all sun, layer sun, moon, and rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for this wonderful support. Um, don't forget to listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. And remember that the month of April videos are also helped. Please remember to listen to your general energies also for the month of April. This week is the 14th week of the year 2017. It is the first week of April 2017 and the week begin from the 3rd of April until the 9th of April. Um, Nie vergeten, um, don't forget um, that um, this week is a powerful week because you're um, vibrating in the zodiac energy of water. You're working with the moon energy, the water energy, the emotional energy. But yet still the zodiac energy is the fire element so this is supporting you in wonderful wonderful ways because your sister sign um, are having their birthday period which is the zodiac birthday for your sister sign and this energy vibration is also helping you Leo's okay your focus your focus your focus in this week is going to be The nine of cups so your focus in this week you Leo's is going to be the nine of cups this is a wonderful energy to be your focus in a week because the nine of cups energies is saying that your dreams and wishes are going to come true all you have to do is to realize it to understand how you should work on it and know that when you have the energy of the nine of cups your wishes and dreams will come true you just have to keep on focus on it and understand where you are and how you can support yourself in wonderful new experience and new ideas okay as we look forward and we look at the energies in this week and we see a lot of arcanas are here a lot of cleansing is going on and yet still um, a lot of celebration and what is so beautiful with you Leo's in this week is that the energy of your financial situation is in balance and it comes up in the middle of the week when you can see the balance in the middle of the week and as I begin to explain to you on Monday you have the energy vibration of the nine of swords this nine of swords is you are worrying about things that you're worrying and it's what you're thinking is not going to happen so let it go and this is on Monday let it go whatsoever you were thinking that was going to happen it's not going to happen let it go okay stop the worries go for it sometimes we a situation knock on the door and we are so fostered in worrying about the situation we need to take the step and to accept what the universe has sent to us okay is a reason why the universe have sent this to us so be aware of it okay as we move forward on Tuesday we have the energy of the ten of the the wheel of fortune oh my god you guys are the first one who has gotten the wheel of fortune this is wonderful because this week is a powerful week you have the wheel of fortune so what this can be saying but the energy of the moon it makes it looks as if and it gives you the energy of you being worried but you have absolutely no reason to worry because this energy vibration is bringing you wonderful um, happiness success and abundance in your life the wheel of fortune as I've always said the wheel of fortune in a week with a nine of cups the lovers and the star there is nothing else you need oh my god this is like one of the best weeks so far everyone is getting very good readings everyone is getting very good feeling so remember the wheel of fortune with the nine of cups your dreams and wishes are going to come through as we move on and we look at the middle of the week we have the four of pentacles which is bringing us wonderful financial stability in our lives wonderful financial stability in our lives this is good because you Tauruses love to know that your financial situation is very stable and you like to know that you like this sort of energy you like to understand this sort of energy 
whatsoever that was blocking your financial situation is now there's a cleansing coming in so on Thursday you have the energy of the tower coming in on Thursday the energy of the tower is bringing cleansing so the wheel of fortune I brought you the four of Pentacles but yet still there's a cleansing coming in and this cleansing is going to show you that whatsoever obstacles that was there whatsoever blockage was there you have won it and a triumphant over it these energies have been coming up just like for a lot of people so a lot of obstacles a lot of people are going to go over a lot of obstacles in their life and they're going to understand and show and going to come out to find out that they have overwhelmed a lot of stuff in their lives which is just so wonderful as we move on in the weekend this is so beautiful I have to show you both on Saturday you have the energy of the lovers and on Sunday you have the energy of the star this is a good week for love if you guys have been looking for your soul partner you 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 your soul partners is a good time for twin flames it's a good week to meet your twin flames it's a good week for your your soulmate to connection with your soulmate so this is wonderful for you leos in the weekend it's going to be a weekend of love so whatever you guys are doing okay be careful because if you don't want to have kids please protect yourself in the weekend but it's gonna be a weekend of love for all of you guys out there you know and the nine of sword the nine of sword it you begin the week with a nine of sword and you end the week with victory and success so see you have over you have conquered your worries and you have end the week feeling triumphant over what you were worrying about okay so this is good i love when these two cards comes up and especially when you begin the week worrying and you end the week with a lot of success because you have used this one sword to um to 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 um, cut away all your worries and all the worries that you have in your life you're removing them away and just uh, using the sword to, to slam them and bring them out of your life and this is good and by doing that the you know the the tower comes in and the tower is helping you to vibrate at such a high energy vibration which is bringing you a wonderful good idea and luck to um, most of us and it is good it is good it is powerful and it is uh, um, it is good it is powerful and it is wonderful so as we look at this week and try and vibrate with the energies of this week as again I said love is going to be a good thing in this week it's gonna be in the weekend for you Leos. I'm sorry I'm so I so love people when they're in love I love the energy vibration of people being in love this is going to be a powerful week some people are going to go away some people are going to meet new people some people are going to have a connection with a love that food that the soulmate the trailing for love is going to be <laughs> if you have a quarrel in this weekend it's because you want to but love is going to be so powerful in this week it's going to be unavoidable it's going to be um, sunshine and stars and everything and the whole universe will light up so that sounds like twin flame relationship so I want to say enjoy let me see what is the last card I have for you unfinished synchrony whatever the situation is is a lesson that you haven't learned and it's going to be okay tick 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 whatever it is whatever unfinished synchrony whatever situation that is going on whatever lessons whatever that you have not completed because whenever the energy of unseen on finish synchrony comes up is that is a lesson that you need to learn I, again it's it's a lesson that you don't understand a lesson that you need to learn so let me look at number 10 the unfinished synchrony I always when whenever this card come up I'm like 
okay now what lesson I didn't learn you know that sort of a thing so hold on let me see I personally I'm like mm. okay unfinished business an incomplete lesson lack of closure the need to make amendments so unfinished business an incomplete lesson lack of closure and the need to make amends this is a time to tie up loose ends as you are near the completion of a cycle or a project or a mystery of a lesson or skilled before you can move forward it's important that you come to terms with where you are now practice radical acceptance take inventory so that emotions and physiological closures can occur and the answers you seek will be found you cannot move forward if you are not leaving if you're leaving things unfinished Rele reference on um, what has passed so that uh, the symphony can finally end on a high note and yet yeah, this does happen sometimes in people life it is it is always like this and we need to understand and I want to say namaste until next week mm -hmm.